I got a great uh, Dirk Nowitzki story as well with with the Dallas Mavericks that that, that if we get to it, Drew, you would enjoy it because I know you're a you're a Dallas guy. Well, let let it rip. Let, let it, it rip. rip. I love hearing about Dirk. Let it rip. <laughs> Hey, is, is he is he your guy? Was that the guy you looked up to, obviously, in the Dallas area? Oh, yeah, that's like my favorite basketball player ever. <laughs> that's, my, that's my go right there. Best power forward of all time. I hey, I, I don't disagree with you. Dirk's, Dirk's an unbelievable guy. I spent uh, – I was with the Mavericks for a short bit before I got traded. And uh, um, my claim to fame is I think Dirk and I combined for 43 points uh, on TNT <laughs> one night. Uh, he had 41 of them. I had two. <laughs> that, um, but the night before, uh, the night before the game, uh, there was like six of us that were going to go out to South Beach and grab dinner. It was me, Dirk, Jason Terry, Michael Finley, um, the trainer, the strength coach, just a couple other guys. And, and we had like three or four taxis that were going to leave the hotel and go to the restaurant. So Dirk and I are the last two guys that we're going to get on the uh, in the taxi and i'm like dirk you want the front or you want the back it's a van taxi right dirk goes no you go to the front i'll get in the back because there's more leg room so i i get in the front seat of the taxi and i just close the door and all of a sudden i hear dirk say dan open the door i'm like what dan open the door i'm like what dan open the door and so then i finally look back over my right shoulder i close the door on his hand in the the pillar of the the van so he was climbing into the the slider opening of the van he was he put his hand on the pillar i closed the door slammed his fingers shut and his hands and i look back i see his fingers on the inside of the door and him standing outside of the van and his hands are just <laughs> mangled, <laughs> up. and, and, and so I open up the door and luckily the trainer was standing right there because he was going to dinner with us and uh, I sat there in dinner the rest of the night, like worried that my NBA career was over. Like, oh, you had to be night. worried. <laughs> yeah. so the next you... morning, I get on the on the I get on the uh, the elevator, and Don Nelson obviously knew what happened that previous night. He looks at me and he winks, and he goes, and he looks at like uh, one of the assistant coaches and, and another player, and he goes, "Hey, did you guys hear what happened to Dick out last night?" And the guys go, "No, what happened?" He's like, "We cut him." He broke Dirk's hand. He's done. He's no longer part of the team. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like just shrinking in the corner oh, of the elevator. Oh like, my God. you gotta be kidding me. Wait, you make it sound you made it sound like Dirk was like calm when he told you to open the door. He was just like, Dan, open the door. He, like, was. he didn't he didn't he react that like you just slammed his hand shut. I mean, it's that German toughness. Like he literally oh my was God, like, bro. me on my shoulder, like, Dan, bro, open up the door. <laughs> Hey, that's a that's a crazy story. <laughs> oh Damn. my god! Yeah, you might. I would have been shitting bricks too that I was gonna get cut. <laughs> yeah. Um. 